Why is having the Atlas in alignment so important for your overall health and well being? Think of the Atlas like a master breaker for your entire nervous system. So, and, and again, like I said, analogies are big in chiropractic because it's so difficult to understand something, a concept that is it, just so simple. This is all you need. Um, when, if, if you're, if you're, you know, master breaker in your house constantly keeps tripping, you know, your, all your electricity in your house goes off all the time. It's like, hey, you have to flip it back on again, you know, three or four times a day. Is your house very efficient? I mean, is that an efficient right. use of your time, of the energy, things like that? Absolutely not. Well, this is your house. This is where you live for your time on this planet. And you want to make sure that master breaker is on. So the upper cervical specific work that we do, what, what we do to get the atlas back into proper alignment is we actually take special films. So every patient has their own specific listing. That's what we call it as a listing. There are special measurements that we use to make sure that how your atlas went out of alignment is specifically addressed with the adjustment. We use a specialty instrument to do that, which is just some tiny taps behind your ear. Right here is where we contact the atlas. And it is so gentle, as I mentioned before, patients get up after that first atlas alignment, they're like, really, is that all you're gonna do today? <laughs> Right. So when they when they feel the changes, they're amazed that you know I didn't have to knock them into next week to do it. But it really is something that is so gentle and so specific and very personalized. Everybody has their own personalized alignment, and the goal is not to have to keep adjusting the atlas. Right. We want the atlas. We want that master breaker to stay on. The longer the atlas stays in alignment, the more efficient your body becomes, the more relaxed those muscles become. And if we have to make some structural changes in the spine, uh, uh, like get, maybe get that cervical curve back, we call it the arc of life. So in your neck, you have this backwards D-shaped curve that provides shock, shock absorption. You have it in your neck and your low back. And when you lose that curve or that your head starts moving forward like this, that forward head posture that we see everybody walking around with that chicken neck, right? That creates a pounding pressure. And that starts wearing away those discs, starts creating bone spurs, what we call arthritis of the spine. So over time, the longer that stays that way, the more degeneration you're going to have. And you know, degeneration is progressive in nature. So if we can stop that as early as possible and just get that curve back, we can slow down or completely cease that, um, that process of degenerative change. And in turn, you're going to be more stable um, your, you know, your risk of falling as you get older is going to be a lot less, um, you know, chances of issues with, um, uh, neck pain or headaches or migraines or dizziness or vertigo, those are going to be significantly reduced as well. Um, and just keeping that atlas in alignment is, is key to all that. That is the master breaker. It's the most neurologically dense area of the nervous system. And if you've never had that checked before, I encourage you to do so. It's, it's one of those things that it's, it's, you know, whatever checkup you do, whether it's, a, you know, your, your yearly exam or something like that. If there isn't a problem there, if there isn't a mechanical issue, then that can be determined at that point in time. And maybe there's something else that's contributing, but it's always worth a look if there is something going on in that area. It's, it's really, I want the atlas misalignment, the atlas subluxation. Subluxation is what chiropractors treat. That's the only thing we treat. Um, that atlas subluxation is as a household word as cavity. One day, one day it's gonna happen because everybody understands the importance of taking care of their teeth. But right. you know what? If all your teeth fall out, you can get new teeth, right? Yeah, exactly. But what happens if, if your spine, you know, isn't functioning right? I've never met anybody in the over 30 years that I've been in the chiropractic field do better long-term after a spinal surgery. Right. Never. I've never, there's always within five to 10 years, something else that's going on, another surgery they have to have. As a matter of fact, it's common knowledge that when you fuse and you surgically fuse two vertebrae together, there's something called adjacent, adjacent disc disease. And what happens is, is when you fuse those bones together, they're working as one now. And what happens is, is they start to wear away above and below that area. So then you start getting problems above and below where they fix the original right. problem, right? So just spreads. So really doing something more conservatively before moving into surgery, because you know, surgical procedures will always be there, but starting with something more conservative as chiropractic care may give you the option of not having to move into surgery. 
you know, sometimes I've had a handful of patients in which surgery was really the best option for them. Um, uh, however, you know, they knew that right after that surgery, and once they were cleared, getting back under chiropractic care was the most important thing. So that process of adjacent disc disease is a lot less likely to happen.